As we walk up the mountain of trial and tribulation Uh huh Our hips begin to sway as we get into the rhythm Uh huh I like the drumming um, I'm native, I'm Navajo Indian, so we do a lot, I've been drumming circles before and um, we got a good rhythm going there that day and, and I remember what it was like uh, to drum in a circle and we did uh, songs and that was for that, but doing this I was um, a little freer and a little more able to express myself and um, it's relaxing and, and uh, I found myself uh, fitting into the whole group. It was, it was good. It was touched something deep down inside me. For a number of years at the Institute of Noetic Sciences, we've been doing research on how people transform their lives. And so we were very excited to partner with the Committee on the Shelterless to develop a program that might apply some of these findings to people who are in a very, very challenging situation. I'm living here at Cots with with a lot of people and, and uh, it, it's not easy. There's a lot of stress sometimes. There's a lot of drama, uh, tension. And a lot of us, you know, we've lost our homes and, and our, 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 our possessions, our kids and, and stuff. My name is John Records and I get to work as executive director of COTS. At the Mary Isaac Center, we have offered and continue to offer really comprehensive programs to get people back under a roof of their own. At Home Within has provided something that's been missing, though, a source of deep spiritual sustenance integrated with body and mind to help people to attain a new level of stability, a new level of comfort, uh, amelioration of some really profound symptoms, aches and pains and insomnia, anger in the workplace. So I've had several reports from people of immediate benefits, tangible benefits in their lives that have made material differences in how they're able to live. The goal of the pilot project was to develop, offer, and evaluate the effects of a program using noetic or integral approaches to bringing together body, mind, and spirit for personal growth and for healing. The program includes instruction in mind-body practices such as qigong, mindfulness, guided imagery, aikido, drumming, and wisdom circles, and each session includes a time for sharing and integration. I've been around the country you know, ins and out, homeless, on the bridges, in jails, in shelters. I've been a lot of shelters, different, but I've never had a resource like, well, like the IONS program. Qigong, I mean, that's, that's, that's part of my life now. Like every morning I try to do it outside. It gives me time to be by myself and to kind of center it when I find myself talking or going off or, or getting angry. I'm looking for that balance between my higher power, which I believe is Jesus, and my also um, to the balance of being consistent going to the meetings and the balance of just being able to meditate and being able just to just to really accept my feelings as life. The initial results of this program have been extremely promising. We've had reports from people of being able to sleep better, being able to deal with emotions better, feeling more connected to their community, feeling more able to go out into the world and feel like they're operating from sort of a secure base and just a greater sense of peace and serenity overall. Uh, it was an older lady and her husband. It was, uh, when I first got here, they were befriending me and it was nice, you know, just nice people. And uh, they, they, they recently got their house, so they left. And she gave me a hug and she was just crying. And I was like, oh, she's crying that, that much? And I was like, you know, and I was like, oh, it kind of moved me, right? So all of a sudden I went outside and I started crying and I said a prayer for him and all that. And it's like that was different for me because I usually, you know, numb my feelings with drugs or alcohol or just, just, don't, ex just don't express it. For people that are homeless, um, this is really enriching, you know. It really is a positive thing and it really helps, I think, with, with body image and self-image. And uh, I think that's really important. Um, because, um, you know, kind of getting us at our lower point in life. And so it's good to have something that enriches and kind of can help support, support us on the way up. 
We don't see a program like this as a luxury. We don't think it's something that should be only implemented if there is extra time, extra funding, or once everything else has been taken care of. We see this as a fundamental skill building program, just like programs that teach skills around how to find a job or how to get a house. These skills, learning to take care of oneself, to calm oneself down, to deal with distressing emotions, cravings, addictions, symptoms of mental illness, we think these are essential living capacities that will allow participants to take better advantage of all the other services that are being offered to them. I was homeless another time in seven years ago and one of my biggest uh, upsets even though I landed in a shelter and they fed us you know and gave us a warm cot to sleep in and laundry facilities and places to phone all great things you know they almost um, we almost they almost fed us too much physical food and there wasn't really opportunity for this so we're profoundly grateful to the people who support these programs, the volunteers, the donors, the program participants themselves. Together we're really building something magnificent and special. It had a very powerful healing effect on me in terms of bringing um, a sense of peace and serenity in my homeless situation. From the pilot program, we now have an idea of the promise, and so what we'd really like to do is extend and expand the program. And finally, what I'm most passionate about is to continue the research to find out more about how people change, how can these profound and long-lasting shifts be supported that really make a difference in people's lives. This is something you don't want to miss. This is a part of you that you don't want to miss a part of discovering yourself that, that you don't want to miss. Uh-huh, our hips begin to sway as we get into the rhythm. Uh-huh, this time gonna get it right, this time gonna come undone. Uh-huh, this time gonna get it right, this time gonna come out like the sun, uh-huh. Well, as we walk through the valley of tears and sorrow, uh-huh, the feeling that we're having is maybe tomorrow, uh-huh. This river of tears is melting us down uh -huh. As we let the sorrow flow, the light's gonna come around This time gonna get it right, this time gonna come undone uh -huh.